and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with a tournament. A slightly different kind of tournament. We've done a lot of kind of rally tournaments, we've done a couple of hill climb stuff, but predominantly we've done sort of off-road uh, racing tournaments. We fancied a little bit of a change, running something a bit faster, S1 class cars forced to be rear-wheel drive as well on a tarmac route. Now initially the plan was to run around the city, however traffic got in the way, uh, kind of scuppered the plan. It was going to be a sort of more technical uh, tarmac style route. Uh, so we had to come up with something different. And that is why I am at the Lego expansion to show the course. We have kind of the rallycross style start drag strip down towards here in towards this very nasty first corner. Although it gets nastier on the second time around because it then becomes a horrible, horrible hairpin. As ever, as ever with these sort of things, is quite a technical circuit and overtaking is rather difficult. You get a nice long straight here into the carousel. I mean, we're making use of this kind of the drift zone. This is a really fun little part of the map that you can make some cool circuits out of, uh, which is another reason why we sort of come over here. Uh, we loop our way through a very, very slow section here. Traction is all, all important through here. Sliding the car around can lose you a huge chunk of time, likewise out of this corner. And then we head on to the back straight if you will again another burst up towards about 140 miles an hour depending on your car slow it down for the hairpin and that is a lap qualifying was to be two laps with the grand final uh, ending up being four that's the course that we were going to be asking some rear wheel drive s1 class cars to tackle and to i'll hopefully try and overtake one another so here we are on the grid with our first heat. We have got the Porsche, a Discari, a Ford GT, and the odd one out, really, the Dodge Demon. An interesting mix of cars uh, ready to tackle this course. Uh, we shall get them uh, ready to start. I saw that someone forgot again. <laughs> it's always one. There's always one who forgets. The launch sequence, and we are off and underway. Sluggish start for the Demon in this, the drag race towards the first sort of corner. The Ford is going to win it from the Ascari. Porsche is going to follow them through here. Now we head towards a very, very tight hairpin. You've got to get this right. It's all about the acceleration on the, on the other side. On towards, again, another bit of a straight. The Ascari is at standing third. Now, of course, this heat, the top two, will make it through, uh, guaranteed, to the next round. The bottom two will go into the Spanner final. They still stand a chance. Uh, we've done the fast part of the course. Now we go to the really tight and twisty section. The 911 defends up the inside. The GT takes a much more normal line. That Porsche is going to have trouble at the top of the course here. Uh, you also can't afford to run wide. There's snow everywhere that will cost you some speed. If you get it wrong, the Demon's very wide and through the tyre bundle it goes. Uh, the GT leads the way. Uh, down towards the nasty hairpin. The Ascari still having a look to the inside. I think the Ascari might get it if it can have the acceleration. Off they go across the line to start their final lap, so to speak. I think the Ascari has got it done. I actually expected the Porsche to outdrag it down towards uh, this hairpin, but no, the Ascari has got a lot of speed, and the GT needs a lot of the glow of the brakes around the banked corner as they shoot up through. The Demon's not fallen too far back, to be fair to the big old muscle car in this heat. It's against... <laughs> You know, three full-on supercars, pretty much, well, sort of track day Porsche, if you like, but still, if you round uh, the narrow part of the course, big slide for the 911. The GT is now scampering away into the distance. It is going to be the GT and the Sky that go through, barring a massive mistake around this corner. They don't. The Ford is through. Uh, as is the Ascari. The Porsche comes home in third uh, and the Demon in fourth. The Demon not too far back, all things considered. A very good first race. A very, very good first race indeed. Uh, the Ford and Ascari look quick. Um, Porsche got a little, got a little, bit, a little bit unlucky. Um, small mistake uh, heading on that back straight, but a bit too far back. A good, a good first round. So, we are on to the second heat in the relative darkness of the drag strip, despite the rest of the track being illuminated. Either way, well, the Lotus has got plenty of lights. Uh, <laughs> going on here. Plenty of lights on the Lotus. We have a baby McLaren, an Aston Martin, a Lamborghini. It's quite the intimidating heat, this one, for sure. Uh, we shall get these four ready. Who knows what way it's going to go? Who will win the drag race, though, down towards the first corner? Uh, Lamborghini gets a fantastic launch off the line. Now, all of these cars are rear-wheel drive. Uh, they have to be for this. Like, Lotus has the best top speed. The Lamborghini is converted to rear-wheel drive. 
for this. Lotus had a look around the outside, but three wide there. It's going to work. Oh, big understeer for the Lambo. That is a big off, and that is going to have a lot of work to do to a try and recover through or down the it's kind of a back straight it's not really a straight it is flat out for all of the cars uh, down that section mclaren leads from lota mclaren a little wide on the exit there still has time though to get it back into position as we head through the narrow section is the aston martin going to be able to do much about finding a way past we'll have to wait and see now you've got to the trick here is you don't want to run out too wide but you also don't want to have big oversteer it's really easy. These are quite low speeds for cars as powerful and as fast as this. And it is very easy to try and get on that throttle a little bit too soon as they head towards their final lap. Where is the Lamborghini? It's dropped back a little bit. It's an unfortunate mistake into the first hairpin. Uh, has cost that a fair bit of time uh, up towards our little carousel, so to speak. Again, I love, I love the glow and break this, but you get it in render range through there. Uh, off the banking we head. Now, the last time through the twisty section is definitely closest between these two, barring a big mistake. There's a slide from the Lotus. Again, any oversteer is going to cost you lap speed. In fact, you can see the Lotus was right there having a look at try or was potentially thinking about looking for a way past the McLaren. And one oversteer moment has put it into the clutch of the Aston, who then slid as well and has fallen back. Oversteer is very much the enemy. Suits me, uh, this sort of racing. But there we go. Around the final corner we head. McLaren takes it from the Lotus. The Aston Martin, uh, sadly, as I'd say, they're not out. They're not out. They're into the Spanner final. Um, put up a good fight. The Lamborghini looked quick, but lost too much time early on. Well, there we go. Now it's going to be my turn. So it is on to my heat and, well, I mean, there's, there's no real easy heat, let's face it. I'm driving a Morgan, a car I've not used before, but strangely a car that's actually very good in Horizon 4. This is the Morgan GT, I think it is. There's a Viper, there's a KTM, there's a Celine as well. They're always scary seeing a Celine in a race. Them things are uh, pretty rapid. Uh, well, certainly can be pretty rapid in S1 class. Uh, we are off and underway. Off launches the Celine. Very quick start for the Celine. Now, the KTM is going to be very light. The Celine runs out of top speed a little bit as we run down towards this first corner. Uh, do I have the grip? Oh, we bobble the kerb, actually. Normally, the kerbs on this circuit are quite flat. I wasn't expecting to bobble them. That KTM's got loads more straight line speed than I was expecting it to. Uh, we are up alongside the Celine, looking for a way past. We're not going to quite find it there. Uh, now the KTM has got crazy, crazy levels of grip, I know that much. Uh, I'm going to get held up by the Celine, which I don't want to. Celine is kind of a little bit of a big old boat, uh, perhaps. I mean, like, physical size-wise, it's such a long supercar uh, compared to the Morgan and the likes. Uh, we are out a little bit wide now. Problem is, I, I really, ideally, well, the Viper made a mistake. I say, I really, ideally, want to be left alone to try and find a way past that Celine in these next couple of corners. Uh, but that is easier said than done, and the Celine's almost there. Having a look at the KTM, I don't know if I can find a way past in time. And we get an absolutely mega run here. We're going to have to go for it. Uh, <laughs> it's a big dive up the inside. Can I get the run on the exit? No, not quite yet. We're going to have to try and duck underneath. I can't do it. The Celine is covering very, very well. It's going to come down to the hairpin. Or can I shove the nose up the inside? I mean, I want... I, didn't want to go across the inside. We were not really given all that much option in that one. We've again, I mean, I've got so much straight line speed here, uh, but it isn't going to be enough, I don't think. The Celine is going to have the traction. I threw everything at it. I <laughs> threw absolutely everything at that one, trying to get past. Uh, sadly, once we were a little, say, once we were stuck a little bit behind, um, I don't think the Celine quite realised we we're going to be alongside in a couple of places. Ooh. We don't make it through. We've got to go the difficult way via the Spanner final. Well, things may have not gone the Morgan's way in the qualifying round. There is another chance. Yes, we have the Spanner final. My car is very quick around here. I know that much. We're a little bit unlucky. I'm hoping we can get through this. Uh, top two progress to the next round. I, I'm hoping we can get a good launch. I'm hoping... Oh, it is actually pretty even very narrow down this inside uh, with bang doors with the Viper. So the Viper doesn't has the initial launch but doesn't have the secondary phase. We have got to the front. I'll throw it in way too deep. If anything, though, I'd rather do that uh, than, well, anything else, basically, down here. I'd rather have thrown the car a little bit too deep there and made sure I've come out the other side with the lead. They can fight. Uh, <laughs> this is 
This is the site. That's the site I wanted to see behind me. Uh, we got the launch now. Just don't screw it up around the rest of the lap. It is not the easiest of circuits. This first gear was not the gear I wanted through there. Big oversteer on the second gear is where it's at with the Morgan. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid through here. Don't run too wide. I've got a Porsche having a nibble trying to find a way past through there. Now, I know I've got more... Oh, I got that a little bit wrong. I know I've got more straight line speed than most of the cars here. The Hurricane outturns me. I'm a little worried about that. The 911 outturns me as well. Someone overshot the corner behind. <laughs> it's a massive fight going on behind. Oh, I think the Hurricane ended up out very wide through all of that. Don't know whether assisted or what. We are going to barrel up towards the banked corner. Again, in relative clean air here. Around that turn we go. Don't do anything stupid. Don't put it down to first. First is a dangerous gear where many spins and nastiness happen. If, well, I say if you're in here, with the gear ratios we have in the Morgan, it doesn't really work. Much neater and tidier this time around. A uh, oh, little bit of oversteer through the next corner. We are pulling a gap as they all fight. It looks like the Viper might have got to second. Uh, in all of this. Slow it down for the final corner. We will head out across the line. It is a victory for us. I think the Demon might have even got that. Uh, <laughs> it was very, very hard to tell. <laughs> there was an absolutely mad race going on behind us. There was a mad race, but we did, we did what we needed to. We got to the lead. We stayed out of trouble. And the Morgan came good. I'm glad it didn't get knocked. I've been really disappointed because it's such a lovely car to drive. We've been sent we got knocked out. We've done the... Uh, I say done the hard thing. Uh, we're, we're through. We've made it to the semi-finals with something. We're actually going to have to check. We have a car parked on the finish line, so we will go and find out who it is that's made it through with me. So, we are on to the semi-finals, and it is the white and silver car round, pretty much. 4 GT, McLaren 570, I think. Uh, that are all similar. Uh, Celine S7, the KTM crossbow line up in this one. Don't know what way... It, I say I don't know where this one's going to go. It's going to be the run to the, to the first corner. It's going to be so important. If you can get out of the first corner first, uh, you are going to be doing well. We're off the line. It's a very even launch between three of them. The KTM just goes... <laughs> KTM is, again, it's that secondary phase of the launch. It's where the Morgan's very good. The KTM just absolutely shoots off uh, into the distance. The McLaren has a lot of work to be doing from back there. Now, it might not be impossible to sneak up to second, especially if the Celine and Ford fight each other an awful lot uh, through here. Celine running very low through that corner. Now, they can you can get some advantages. Oh, the Celine's out very, very wide. Celine got too much understeer on the exit. Uh, through all of that, although it does have excellent grip. Up the front, the KTM leads from the Ford GT as we head on around this narrow section. The McLaren's been forced out quite wide through all of that. There's a good old squabble going on over that third place. Uh, they're pretty even in terms of top speed as they head down to the hairpin. Now, this is good news for the Ford. It's good news. Good news for the KTM. You want to see cars fighting in the background. You don't want to have to worry about them. The Ford has got quite a nice gap. It is not quite keeping up with the KTM at the moment. Uh, I think the fastest slide still they fight through here. The fastest slide around the hairpin, you kind of sit the wall on the white line. You go too far down. You can't really use the banking through all of that. As we head up through the slow and twisty section next, it is the uh, KTM leading the way by a sizable margin. Some questionable track limits from the Celine and all of that. The KTM is a long way gone up at the front though. It will be the KTM that takes victory and is through to the final. The Ford GT takes second in all of that. The Ford progresses. The Celine and McLaren go out. McLaren was a little bit unlucky at turn one. They did look a little bit of lag uh, jumping either way. Much got oversteer on its own. Uh, McLaren had a lot of work to do. Couldn't quite catch back up. Overtaking is super difficult as ever around this track. Right, so it is on to the second of the semi-finals. The Morgan lines up alongside the Ascari, the Viper, and the Lotus. I don't really know uh, how this is going to go. What I do know is... Oh, I'm in reverse. Uh, the speech bubble didn't actually come up above the car. I was actually looking at the car to try and see. I think the speech bubble appears, like, fractionally before everything. So I was trying to get a sneaky little bit of an advantage there. Uh, it didn't quite work out. Uh, now, I have crazy work to do. 
Is it possible? If it's possible in anything, it's probably the Morgan here. And the Morgan has so much straight line speed down there. It's fantastic. We go past the Viper. Now, the Lotus outturns me. This might be a problem because I'm going to get stuck here. I'm going to get stuck fighting with a Lotus, and I'm going to get stuck fighting. Yeah, we're done. We're dead. Oh, we came... Well, I say we came back. Um, we did pretty well. I don't know where the Viper's going. Uh, <laughs> Viper just made up his own track. Uh, we did pretty well to come back. But we just got held in the corners, and yeah, I'm not going to have the not going to have the time to. Unfortunately, we'll give it everything in case there's a mistake. You never know. Um, once you get held up in traffic, though, it's just so devastating. Um, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed by that one. Kind of, kind of a little bit annoyed because uh, the Morgan is a very, very good car. Uh, it should have been. Should have been better um, in in all of that. Uh, we're kind of closing. Now, if I don't spin the wheels up, I mean, if we somehow come back from this, uh, I will be amazed. Uh, it would be an absolute bloody miracle. Come on, Morgan. Oh, I can't match that Lotus for traction. It's so good out of the slow corners. Yeah, I got the fastest car in this. It should have been more. Uh, silly, silly error. Silly initial error and then snuck in traffic. We are out of the competition. God damn it. The Morgan is glorious. There is no doubt about it. Uh, the Morgan is, a, is an absolutely fantastic car. Uh, however, yeah, it, it just got stuck in the traffic. And that is us out. A shame. It is the way it goes sometimes in motorsport. And we will move on to the final. So, this is it. The final is going to be two laps longer as well. So, four lap race around this circuit. We have the Lotus, Ford GT, the KTM, and Ascari lined up on the grid. The KTM is the one to beat, it would seem. Uh, could it happen? Possibly if something is very fast towards turn one. If the KTM gets stuck in traffic as ever, it might have anything, might have a tough time. We will have to wait and see, though. We will launch the cars on their way. Very even start between the entire pack. And there goes the KTM with its speed. It's not by as large amount as some, but it is to the lead. It is the uh, Lotus on the outside having a little bit of a look. Not going to get much speed off of there. Now, if something's going to beat the KTM, they've got, they want to get ahead of it early. They can't afford to fight each other into attrition in that second place. Now, the Lotus might have the grip. One of the few cars actually has been able to really make speed up, diving down to the inside through all of that. Uh, but I don't know whether it's going to be enough. And the Lotus needs the clean air. The Lotus really, really wants to be sat in clean air if it's going to chase down the KTM. And everything does uh, want the clean air uh, to try and chase the cars ahead of them. And the KTM just wants to stay out there as we head down towards the hairpin once more. Mistakes might play a part, of course, in this. It is easy to miss your braking. It's easy... The Lotus got a little bit greedy on the inside. Couldn't quite get it uh, stopped, but, or couldn't quite get the move. There wasn't really the space for the move down there. And it just like, bobbled across the curb. But again, it's costing them little bits of time. Is the Lotus going to dive? The Lotus is one of the few cars running lower around the heavy. One of the few cars getting away with that uh, running lower uh, through that corner. The Ford's caught up to the back of the group as well. It's having a bit of a look. Again, passing is, is tough with this sort of this sort of circuit. Not impossible, of course, but it is uh, very difficult. Also, a little bit uh, jumping across the, the inside in all of that. We're back down the straight once more. No one's really close enough to have a look at the car ahead into the hairpin. This time, the Lotus are happy to sit behind and follow. There's a little bit of a bump between them, but mostly follow the Ascari through that section as the three of them uh, run through the next corner. If the Lotus can clear the Ascari, it might stand a chance, but it's running out of time here. It's really not got the time to do all of that much. I mean, the KTM isn't that far away. Big slides from the Lotus is not what it's going to have uh, to have been wanting as the Ascari is starting to close a little bit through there. I think the Ascari can carry some corner speed, but it just doesn't have, weirdly, the top end 
of the crossbow. That is just too fast. I say it's too fast, it's so light. Uh, that's what does it. Now we're on to the final lap of the race. The Lotus has fallen back a little bit in all of this. Has the Ascari got a chance to look for a way past? KTM's running very high, although you get a nice exit through there, which is perhaps the most important bit as we head towards the very, very technical section. Now the Ascari might be able to do something here. Might be able to close, although I think it's actually lost a little bit of ground this lap around as we head through this next corner. Indeed, the Ascari is not going to be close enough. It had a bit of a mess at the top of the course as well through all of that. Off goes the KTM. Ascari's chased by the Lotus once more. The Ford's fallen a smidge back in all of this as we head towards the finish line. The KTM takes victory. Ascari second. Lotus third. The Ford takes fourth. An excellent race indeed. A very, very good race. Uh, between them. The Ascari put up a very good fight. It got close. It kind of troubled the KTM briefly, uh, but didn't really have enough time to do much about it. The Lotus was quick, got stuck in a bit of traffic, fell back. This is the way it goes with uh, with these races sometimes. Yeah, KTM, the KTM managing to get to the first quarter first was helpful. Uh, everyone else fought a little bit too much to be able to do a sort of extended attack almost they got close they got close but not quite able to find a way past so there you go you find yourself racing around a lego circuit ktm crossbow pretty bloody fast as a rear wheel drive s1 class car anyway that is going to be it for this video thank you all very much for watching and until next time a uh, yeah, goodbye